Hi there, editor Jordan D. White here, and I wasn't sure what Deadpool was referring to when he talked about stories on the internet. So I had my intern uh, look one up for me, and she printed it out, and so I thought we could find out what this is all about. Um, the August sun rose, so hot it burned the dew off the grass in steamy rivulets. The air was filled with a thick haze. At this hour of the morning, the only thing penetrating the miasma was the percussive sound of Deadpool and Spider-Man's hammers as they pounded away on plywood boards in a backyard in Queens, New York. Deadpool stopped to drag the back of his hand across his forehead. He couldn't actually wipe away any of the, sw of the sweat accumulating on his brow because he was wearing gloves and a mask, but it felt good to relax his tensed biceps. Spider-Man looked up. We can take a break if you need to. Maybe a little break, Deadpool answered, but only because you're looking a little red in the face. The two friends laughed. Deadpool stretched his back and picked up two bottles of ice-cold water from a cooler nearby. He threw one up in the air. Spider-Man instantly dropped his hammer and grabbed it with a string of web. Deadpool had seen Spider-Man in action thousands of times before, but he was always impressed by the way the Avenger combined speed, strength, and accuracy. So effortlessly. As Deadpool knocked his head back, drinking deeply, the crystals of condensation dripped down the outside of the bottle and collected in a constellation of drops on his costume. Spider-Man had spilled some of his water, too. Man, these costumes, right? He said. Deadpool replied, I know exactly what you mean. It's so hot out today. And, Spider-Man jumped in, I'm not even thinking about taking mine off. Exactly, said Deadpool. Whatever these things are made of, I feel comfortable as a penguin on a couch made of ice. Well, time's a-wasting. This treehouse isn't going to build itself. Oh, isn't it? Spider-Man asked mischievously. He shot two ropes of webs over the branches of the big oak and started pulling the partially assembled structure off the ground. Why didn't we just do this in the first place? Deadpool asked, a little miffed. Well, we still need to nail everything together, Spider-Man answered, as he maneuvered the walls into position. Don't say another word, Deadpool shouted. He threw his empty bottle into the recycling bin and grabbed two wireless nail guns. Hanging off the gutters of the garage, running along the top of the fence, and flipping all over the yard, Deadpool exploded in a burst of energy. With the weight of a firearm in each hand, he felt totally alive. Each nail hit its mark perfectly until a cicada flew in Deadpool's face, and he fell off the clothesline, dropping onto a pile of wood scraps. Ha! That's going to leave a mark, Deadpool said, holding up his right leg so Spider-Man could see where a pine shard had pierced his thigh. Spider-Man secured the nearly complete treehouse, swung over to his injured friend, and kneeled by his side. Don't worry, Deadpool said. It, it's nothing my healing factor can't take care of. Spider-Man leaned in, placing his hands on either side of the wound in Deadpool's thigh. When they were this close, he couldn't see the mercenary's chest heaving as he barely coped with the pain. Spider-Man sat up, pulled Deadpool's face close to his, and looked deep into his friend's eyes. What, what are you doing, Deadpool asked, his breath coming even shorter. We're going to have to take these pants off, Spider-Man growled. Deadpool began, oh, Spidey, I, shh, Spider-Man whispered, as he placed his gloved finger over Deadpool's masked mouth. Save your breath. Spider-Man used his super strength to lift Deadpool in his arms. Your pupils aren't dilated, he said, so you didn't sustain any brain injuries in the fall. No new ones, anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. But I'm still concerned about blood loss and infection. Let's go inside and make sure no splinters or fibers from your pants got into the wood. Oh, I see, Deadpool said, leaning his head against Spider-Man's pecs. I guess we'll tie up the rope ladder another day. I don't see what the problem is. This seems pretty, pretty innocent. <laughs>